Today, as you requested, we're going to talk about zero gravity workstations, which is a complex way of answering a simple question, which is, is it a great idea to uh, work lying down when the setup seems correct? Welcome, I'm Olivier Girard, ergonomist, posture therapist, author of the Posture Manual and creator of the Posture Academy. I'll first talk about the pros and the cons of zero gravity workstations and then I'm going to tell you about the one case where I did recommend such workstation. The most obvious advantage is that we know that when we lie down on a chair that supports us super well, well, there's w less weight on the tissues and therefore the muscles can be more relaxed. I mean, we all know that uh, every night when we lie down in bed, the muscles are more relaxed than when we stand. This is clear and undiscussable. But there's one thing which must be said, which is that when you lie down, you should have very proper support everywhere. Meaning that, you see, I need something to support my head and that something needs to be perfectly well adjusted because if it's just a bit too much backwards, up, I'm here. If it's a bit too much forward, I'm having forward head posture. So, you know, we're starting to have very, very precise adjustments and when I see how most people adjust their simple chair, I'm quite worried about these precise adjustments on a zero gravity workstation. This also applies to uh, the armrests, you see, as I will be here, my arms are actually behind me. So now if I want to have them on my keyboard, they should be very, very precisely under my forearms and what you see on that picture is that due to the angle of the keyboard the lady probably does something like this with the right shoulder which is a rounded posture on the right shoulder so you see if the adjustment is not correct that can be quite problematic now next to the price of such uh, workstations i think the biggest disadvantage is that as you're more supported you're less mobile. You're less mobile both locally and globally. Let me explain. You see, when I'm completely supported here, geometrically, I can find a setup which, you know, is super comfortable. But you see that my body is completely stuck until basically my wrists. Everything is immobile. Therefore, my whole uh, working effort will be concentrated in my wrists and in my hands, which increases the risk of lateral deviation on the wrists um, and that can very much uh, increase the risk of um, tennis elbow or other wrist and elbow tendinitis. So you see, this is uh, for me a big concern is how much can you really move uh, your forearms and your shoulders to do something like this when you are completely supported. And even if you would move your shoulders, you would move your shoulders against gravity. You see? And that moving your shoulders against gravity is way heavier than moving your shoulders here. Therefore, there's more tonus in the chest area, which leads to rounded shoulders. This is for the local immobility and its consequences. There's also a more global immobility, which I think can be a real matter of concern, which is the fact that you see, there's quite a logistics to get into there or to get out of such a workstation. Therefore, the risk is that you take much less breaks than on your normal uh, workplace and we know that uh, this type of immobility has consequences in terms of um, s s muscle strain because you know muscles need uh, movement to get uh, fresh blood therefore uh, oxygen so the less you move the less you're going to oxygen at your tissues, but your also global physical activity will be lessened, meaning that, you know, you increase the risk of overweight, cardiovascular diseases, cancers, and all these things. So all in all, when did I recommend such workstation? Only once in the case of a great guy, he was a university professor who called me a few years ago, uh, all the way from the US. He had a cervical hernia and he had had a first operation that had messed up a nerve 
that was mm, innervating the serratus anterior muscle, which is a major stabilizer of the shoulder blade. And as too often, when one surgery failed, there's a second surgery uh, done, and the third one, and the fourth one, and he was now on his seventh surgery, still completely unable to withstand gravity with his right arm, and the seventh operation was aiming at um, screwing his shoulder blade onto his uh, thoracic cage. You see the, 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 the drama there. Um, and as he was completely unable to do anything with his arm when he was sitting or standing due to the effect of gravity, that guy had to lie down if he wanted to have some kind of relief there. So for him, with such a special workstation, very finely adjusted, then we can talk because basically we can give him back some mobility and some ability to function in his intellectual profession. But for most of us, I think that it is much more uh, cost effective uh, and safe on the long run to number one, learn how to use your body well, number two, take the habit to take enough breaks and understand that you know uh, your, your productivity is not proportional to your total screen time. Mm -hmm.